Ah, oh, masking and premiere. It's like trying to start a car with a dead battery. I'm grabbing the pen tool and that's when the misery starts. I'm trying to get my car running, but suddenly people are honking from behind. I'm blocking traffic. Come on. Stupid mask. Why is it so freaking difficult to mask out this banana? That's the only thing the client asked me to do, but instead I'm just wasting their time. Just like these people behind me. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just like I'm working on this car. I'm trying to mask it out, but I think I'm doing something wrong. I am indeed, and so are you probably. So I've got some masking tricks for you, and trust me, the last one is going to blow your mind. Now imagine you would use just one mask. You've been animating it for an entire day, only to find out you missed a small spot. This means you're gonna have to readjust the entire mask for every keyframe. So instead, you wanna mask out every object separately. The car is gonna be one mask, perhaps even the wheel, and finally the guy standing. All right, let's go frame by frame and mask him out. Damn it, I lost my keys. And I totally forgot about his feet, and looking at the mask, it looks pretty bad. This means we have to go through every keyframe to adjust the mask, or we can use this little trick. Look for the alpha adjust in the effects library, drag that to the clip and create a mask on this effect that goes around the part that you forgot or perhaps other mistakes. When done, make sure to enable invert mask to cut away the unwanted parts. Super time efficient and no need to go through all the keyframes again. Oh, there are my keys. Ah, damn it. I wish I could just buy a new car because this is a piece of junk, but I don't have any money. Wait, what was that? I can sell my videos and photos? Oh yeah, the easiest way to do that is by using Wirestock. These guys are sponsoring this video, by the way. We all have some photos and videos laying around. Yeah, well, you should be using them on Wirestock and start making some money. You heard that right, here's how it works. First, you upload them to your account. And by using the easy submission feature, you don't even need to add descriptions, keywords, or titles. Wirestock will do that for you, completely for free. Then they distribute them for sale to all major stock places, like Adobe Stock, Shutterstock, Pond5, and many more. And you can do all of this from a single account and you're not required to take a subscription or anything. When you make a sale, Wirestock takes 15% and you keep the rest, so they only make money when you do. It's a win-win. Literally, you can't lose anything. They also provide a high discoverability and a higher royalty rate. You know, so it's kind of like a manager for you. We all have photos and videos somewhere laying around, and if you don't, just grab your camera and go film some close-ups of nature or anything else that you come up with. Almost every smartphone has a good camera nowadays, so you literally have no excuse, my friends. Go make some money right now using Wirestock, using the link in the description down below, guys. I almost have enough money to buy a new car, but I really have to go now because I hear laser beams coming from the sky and I don't know what's going on. Yes! It kind of feels like animating a mask, doesn't it? For example, I was shooting a video on the beach the other day, and this man was walking in front of my camera. Can you believe that? Now, to remove him from the video, go to the first frame of your clip, then head over to the opacity and click the pen tool. Mask out the man very roughly like this. Then feather the mask a bunch, and if you start to see the man again, just increase the mask expansion. Set a mask pad's keyframe and move all the way till the end of the clip, and change the mask pad until it covers the man again. Now, if you play back the video, you can see the mask following him, but isn't quite accurate. To fix that, go to the middle in between the two keyframes. Now adjust the mask again, then go to the middle of the first two keyframes and do the same. Keep doing that until the mask looks accurate. Next, set the mask to invert and this will become clear in a second. Duplicate the clip by holding down Alt and dragging it up one track. Then remove the mask from the first video and adjust the position so that the man disappears out of the frame. And voila! Now recently I came across something that completely blew my mind, so I I really want to share this with you guys. This is gold. As you know, we have a mask tracking option, but we can only use it for masks. Now, what if there's a way to make this motion tracking work for anything? Take this graphic layer, for instance. I want it to follow the logo of the car. That's something only After Effects can do, but I found a way to make motion tracking work within Premiere Pro. Now, to do that, disable the video track with the text for a moment. Now, from the effects library, just take any effect. It doesn't matter. Let's take that alpha adjust again. From this effect, take the pen tool and draw around the logo. Now, before we start tracking, just make sure to enable preview from the options menu so that we can see a live preview of the tracking. Then click play and let Premiere do its thing. All right, we got the tracking. Now we're going to need an extension that's going to let us move this tracking to any other layer. The extension is called Mask to Transform and it costs a little bit of money, but it's absolutely worth it. Link is in the description down below. Once installed, head over to the window menu and on top, go to extensions. Open up Mask 
task to transform and here you can enable the position, rotation and scale. We only need position for this one. Now make sure to copy your mask and then click get from clipboards. Now the plugin has the data from the mask that we copied earlier. Here you can select how many frames the plugin will leave in between when pasting the keyframes. The higher this number, the smoother the animation, but also the less accurate. By default, this is set to 5 and this also seems to be the sweet spot. Now turn on the video track and select the motion layer. Click paste as transform and this will create a transform effect on the graphic and it will paste all of the keyframes there. Again, a download link can be found in the description down below guys. Go check it out. This is, this is huge. <laughs> a huge time saver. Time I wish I had because there's a freaking alien invasion incoming. That's why everybody's in a rush. <coughs> My car is left for debt. Luckily, I just made some good money selling stock clips. Hey sir, can I buy your car? Stepping into a new car is like updating Premiere. It might come with new features, but you don't know if the rest still works. The new Premiere update finally fixed a huge masking issue. 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 Look at me masking out the banana. In the old Premiere, this rotation function would constantly appear, which is super annoying because it prevents me from masking accurately. In the new Premiere update, they disabled this function. Only when you close the mask, you'll be able to rotate it. Not only that is new, but you can also zoom in in the program monitor more up to 16,000%. No, 1600%. 60,000 is too much. <laughs> really awesome new stuff. Just like my new car. I'm so happy that I updated it. Ah, oh, never mind. It introduced some new bugs. But now that you know how to properly mask, check out this video here on my left to learn some really neat effects of what you can do with masking. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.